Well, that's it. Christmas is over. Time to start looking at New Year's resolutions, diets and dry January. But did you get what you wanted for Christmas or would you like to look at something that will last longer than all of those empty New Year's promises? <laughs> Hello and welcome to AAR On Air. Well, if you didn't get them for Christmas, there's always the New Year's sales. It's accessory time. And here are my top 10 must or should haves for your air guns in no particular order. And there's a mix of costs and prices. They're not all top priced and they're not all super budget either. Here goes, starting with the easiest. Get yourselves a tin of these. Unless you've been under a rock for the past six months, you should have seen lots of people talking about these. If you haven't already got some, then it's pretty much a must, especially if you do any hunting. Sadly, they're only available in point two two at the moment, but they work, and I've done a fair bit of testing and shooting of these, including deformation testing, and they are now my go-to hunting pellet. They come in at about 13 or 14 pounds a tin. Well, that was easy. Next, how about a cleaning kit? This is mine. It's a Napier pull-through kit and I've also added some shoot-through cleaners as well. Now, of course, you don't need to clean your barrel after every use, but periodically it is a best practice. And these kits are inexpensive at around about £35 UK and they work in most air guns and in most calibres. Whilst we're talking cleaning and maintenance, you would also benefit from getting your hands on one of these. It's a gunsmith maintenance centre. They take all the risk out of trying to prop a gun up and it falling over and getting damaged. All your hands are free to work on and around the gun with areas to keep all your tools and cleaning kits whilst you work on your gun. It keeps everything together and tidy. It has removable uprights that can be set at different heights. It is exceptionally lightweight and easy to store when you're done with. It is really useful for lining or fitting your scope and it can even be used as a gun rest for target work. So this thing really is a bit of a multi-tool, so to speak. And all this lot comes in at a pretty low price of around £50 UK retail. Talking about rests and multi-tools, so to speak, try this little number, the Vanguard Porter Aim. Silly name, but it's an excellent item. It is a tripod type front gun rest. It's all metal with a shaped bean bag rest on the top, which sits on a metal cradle. It's got enough Velcro to keep an S&M party going all night. This is height adjustable with a rather clever quick release ring. Simply lift the centerpiece to your desired height and it'll lock in place. If you want to lower it, lift the top ring and it release the center upright. Very quick and solid action to it. The bottom knob has a twist and lock system to make it absolutely secure. The very top can be unscrewed and it reveals a quarter 20 thread. Now any photographers amongst us know exactly that that is the standard thread to put a camera on. This is a really solid item and easily capable of taking some heavyweight stuff and some knocking about too. 
Realistically, the £45 price tag on this is pretty good value considering this thing's construction and multi-uses. I like this a lot. Hmm. Next up, a thing I wouldn't live without. A chronograph. If you have a few guns, this is superb to try and keep you informed of their condition and performance. This is the FX version, and in the past I've said it was powered by witchcraft. Because it doesn't even need you to shoot over or through it. It simply tracks the speed of your pellet as it leaves the gun's barrel, which is a bit like one of the police speed cameras in that sense. It is tremendously accurate and easy to use with a superb app for your smartphone or tablet that does all the calculations for you. About £150 UK and you can use it anywhere because this is powered by trusty double A's and I wouldn't be without mine. One of the things I love about the air gun industry is the number of amazing replica guns, such as blowback pistols, and these are great to practice with and really feel like the real thing. And my next must have on the list is a shed load of spare magazines or even shells. That way you can just keep the fun going. These vary greatly in price, but add something to the overall experience. Who doesn't want to drop out a magazine and slot another one preloaded straight in to keep the fun flowing? Or reload more pre-pellet filled shells into the revolver? Recently I did a review on targets and I feel these are a must in one form or another catch boxes. They come in flat type or funnel type, the thinner or the heavier FAC capable ones and they help keep ricocheting down to an absolute minimum and even collect the spent lead to save it ending up all over the place. They hold targets of your choice in different sizes too. They start at less than £10 UK and go up to it as much as you want to spend, pretty much. My favourites are the bigger, heavy duty ones, and when you hit them with something heavy, they don't half ring out as well. The last three things then. This one is going to help keep things safe and tidy. A hard case. This happens to be a Daystate one and is just under £100 UK, but it is absolutely rock solid and capable of taking more abuse than a YouTuber being attacked by trolls. The build quality is excellent and with the foam internals will keep any gun safe and sound and will easily take a full length rifle with scope no problem at all. The catches are really strong and not likely to come open accidentally and you can even put a lock on it to prevent the kids getting their hands on your guns. Now if that doesn't give you the excuse you needed to give to the missus to justify buying one of these, I don't know what will. If you're a PCP shooter, it's probably time you looked for a compressor to save all the hard work on the pumps. They come in at all price ranges, styles and types, ranging from about £170 UK up to about two and a half grand, depending on your needs. But I know I wouldn't be without mine. If you want to know more, take a look at this review I did, which covers off most everything you need to know when you're looking to buy one. Finally then, if you're a hunter and you're out and about shooting at different distances, you really should have one of these, a rangefinder. They come in all different types and price ranges. I have two here. One is a simple point and press, and it will give you the distance in yards or meters for you to then make adjustments to your scope settings or your mill dot placing. Or even one like this, which Bluetooths to your ear and talks to you, telling you the distance so you can make those adjustments. Price-wise, these range from 
if you'll pardon the pun, about £149 UK, and once you've got one, you'll wonder how you got by without it. I love mine. Now, I know I said top 10, but whilst we're talking about scope adjustment for distance, you could also look at one of these for windage. An anemometer. This will give you wind speed, temperature, etc, etc. Again, it's out with the double A's for this one, or 2032's for the small one. They weigh nothing and easily fit into your pocket. With practice, you can get to know exactly what adjustments you need to make with your sighting. Again, they start from less than £10 UK, and this one was only about £20, and even gives pressures and wind chill factors. There, 10 ish non-gun, gun-related accessories to protect, care for, maintain, aid accuracy, hitting power and pleasure, and even take the strain out of shooting. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. As always, if you have something that you think is a must accessory, please let me know. Until next time, please thumbs up, subscribe, alarm bell, share, don't forget the other half's birthday, help with the parts and take out the rubbish, and you should have enough brownie points to get away with buying some of these. <laughs> Thanks for watching.